Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a review on the new wax warmer, trying it out, testing it out for the first time. Also a review on melting the Goose Creek white Christmas cake. Okay, before we get into this, I want to show you something. Alrighty, everyone. I had to go to Sheets to get gasoline, so we're filled up for the week because we have plenty errands to do this week. I will try to fit the videos in and get them uploaded just the same. But we had to go get the gas, and I thought while I was there, I was going to get myself some chocolate milk because I just love this Gallagher's chocolate milk. It is really creamy. You can taste the difference. There's a lot of cream and fat in this milk, and the chocolate is just perfectly balanced in this milk. And they do sell the... Uh, standard size bottles that is like, I don't know, 16 or some ounces in a bottle. But I always get the quart because it's cheaper and you get more milk. I just love this chocolate milk from Sheets by Gallagher's. Okay, then, as if that wasn't enough, I have a sweet tooth fix. I saw these donuts and I thought, holy God, I, I saved it till I got home. But once I get done filming here, this is going right in my mouth. This is a donut from Sheets right now, currently out. It is called Vanilla Galaxy. It's got different shades of the blue and a little bit of white in icing. And it even has, do you see those silver stars that's on there? They're candy. But they're very, very thin. They almost look like thin aluminum foil. That's how thin they are. But they're edible candy stars. I just thought this was something, this donut. And <laughs> trying to get it up. There's also glaze on the back side, but it's also glazed and then all the icing. I just thought this is so freaking neat, this design on this vanilla galaxy donut. There's some kind of cream on the inside too, but it's first time having one and I had to get and I had to show you. So stop at your sheets because they have plenty of donuts out with all this fancy dressed up look to these donuts okay and if you just hold on just one minute longer i have another one to show you that was out because a couple weeks ago i was there and i got donuts and i got something called a turtle donut they had caramel and crumbs all over it, and then they had peanut butter ones that have a lot of the dark chocolate like a boston cream donut and then there was all this caramel drizzled over it and some kind of i don't know it looked like um some kind of crumb Oh, my God. So, let me just show the other donut I got, which I'll save this for another day because two is too much for me. Because these are nice size donuts. They're nice and big, and they're also thick. Now, this one here is the same story, but it has a different name. And wait till you see how this one's dressed up. Okay, right here. Look at this one. Oh, Lord, look at this. It is not peppermint. If that's what you're thinking, it's not peppermint. That's what I thought until I read what it was on the edge of the tray where they write what the name of it is. This is called a strawberry shortcake donut with a filling inside too. I'm not sure if it's a cream filled sort of filling or if it might be like a strawberry jam or something. I don't know. But do you see these donuts? Go to your sheets. Even if you're not going for gas, just stop and get yourself a coffee, a tea, any other kind of cold beverage and check out the donuts. This looks very scrumptious also. Okay, so that is the donut story. And hold on just a moment. Okay, back to the wax warmer and the wax melt. Okay, let me show you the warmer first. We have this plaid print that I just got. This is from Mainstays in Walmart stores. I got this so I'll have something for the winter months after the holidays are over with. The indication light is on. It kind of is a little bit of a light blue kind of a color when lit. It, there's the camera catching it right now. And this says on the website that this is supposed to be 20 watts, but when you turn the warmer over, since there's nothing on the carton that it comes in, there's nothing on there saying about the wattage, but when you turn the warmer over and you read on the bottom black plate area, because there's a silver sticker too, but in the black plastic that's underneath here, if you read 
it's molded into it. It tells you that this is 15 watts, so I don't know. But it, I do have it plugged in. The indication light is on. It's very hot. It's very hot. So I don't think it's 15. Somebody screwed up somewhere. It is very, very hot for being a 15-watt warmer. This definitely has to be 20. So the website can't be wrong in this case. But why were they stuck a plate on the bottom saying 15 I don't know, 15, this is very hot for, for 15, so I think that seems correct. It's 20 watts, exactly what the website says. So, yes, I plugged it in, and yes, it's perfect size. It's just as tall and in diameter both ways as the tea light version ones are. That's out right now in stores, but this is the tea light. They're the same height. Let me see if I can get that on there a little bit, maybe show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's the same height, just maybe a hair taller, but it is the same diameter. It's the same in diameter. So, it's very good warmer and very good priced at $7.88 plus tax. All right, let me just get my cookie straightened out there. Okay, so, the warmer is a good deal, and they have many prints, including the buffalo black and red buffalo print and there's some other ones that are geared towards the actual Christmas thing and they have ones that are geared more towards winter theme also not just the flannels being winter so go get yourself one that's a damn good deal right now on a warmer and it's very hot and it's very good quality this isn't cheesy get a nice thick dish with this and the warmer is even nice and thick. It's built well. So we're going to switch into the Goose Creek melt right now. Okay, so this is Goose Creek's white Christmas cake. Love that picture on the label of that cake. These are 2.1 ounces. It says highly fragranced. I don't buy a lot of Goose Creek, but, you know, when it pops up in Walmart, I don't mind getting one or two. So, um... I did get when they were in Walmart um, around the spring, summertime. They had some collection out this year. And then we didn't see anything for fall from them. But we are for winter and Christmas here. They're going fast and they are over $3. There's $3 in, oh my God, 70 some cents or 80 some cents. They're almost nearly $4 for one of these. So... But there's a selected amount in your Walmart stores. They also have the three wick candles by them, just the same. And they're even more money. So this here, it smelled good to me in the store. When I came home, then it's kind of smelled light. And I took a piece tonight, and I, you get six pieces, but I took one out. And I threw it in the warmer right there. You can tell it's wet, but it's very clear when it melts. And then it's up against more white. This here smells to me like a fresh baked white cake that you buy a white cake box mix in the store. It has that type of a smell. There is a sweetness to this. There's a little bit of like an icing or frosting type of a scent to it, just not the cake. I don't really smell much um, like how they're showing like frosted cranberries and greenery. I don't get that in here. If it's supposed to be in there, I wouldn't, um, wouldn't know. To me, it just smells like a real good white frosted cake with some kind of a buttercream or vanilla icing of some sort. There is no greens or berries in this note, in the scent of this. I keep sniffing it as I'm talking to you. I'm opening it, the clamshell over and over here. But, um... Yeah, it just smells like a good cake. That's all it smells like. And there's some sweetness. It smells really much stronger in here now again today when I open this. And as I keep opening now, I could smell it really good. Um, This isn't a wow up in your face type of a scent when it's melting. It's not that kind of a strong. I would say that it's probably about a seven, seven and a half in throw. I am in a large room, but I this is wafting out of this room. 
where the French doors are open to my next, the room adjacent to this, I could smell when I first come up my basement steps right into my galley kitchen. I can definitely smell this. It's wafting, but it is not super duper strong up in your face. And that's okay because I could still smell it. But would I say this is something exciting like? No, this is just an average everyday type of vanilla cake frosting scent. There's nothing wow about it. But it's a, still a nice scent. So if you're looking for something that is cake related with some frosting, give this one a try. I'm sure it's probably even on their website for goosecreek.com. So I do have another one that I purchased in Walmart. It's the gingerbread house. I will get a review up about that one as soon as I can because I'm trying to review so many different ones for everyone so they could still have a chance of either going to Walmart and maybe finding it yet or go right to Goose Creek themselves. So, um, yeah, that's what I have to say about this one. Not bad, but nothing, you know, that's going to blow my socks off. So, it's all right. I'll finish it up. I might even mix one of the cubes with something else and do a twist of my own with this. But yeah, not bad. But I think the Ginger House one's going to do a whole lot better. It's a lot stronger. It seems like it, it's a thrower. So that's what I have for you right now on the warmer as well as the Goose Creek melt. melt. And yeah, I think this is just a perfect wintertime pattern for the warmer and like i said it gets hot this is this is really hot this isn't warm this is hot it's beyond warm and it's good quality very good quality for the price and doesn't take up a whole lot of space you know if it's perfectly um into even you know little tight spots that you might have and you want to um not have your warmer showing you like other times you would want your warmer to be up in front and you want someone to notice it but if you just stuck it you know behind stuff and buried it as a way disguised it um it's still a good warmer this is very good it's very very good quality for that price so that's what i have for everyone and the end of the, it's the end of the weekend people and we're starting another work week so if, every, if For those of you, I'm getting tongue-tied. For those of you who have to go to work, um, I hope you have a good work week. And for those that don't go to work and you're home, I wish you have a good week just the same. So until I see you all again, everyone, in another upcoming video soon, everyone be good, be kind, keep your spirits up, and I'll talk to you real soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching me for the very first time, don't hesitate any longer. Push the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video because I do a lot of different things on this channel. And good night, everyone.